everyone it's karen the carrot and i just want to do like a quick intro to this like part two of my video because when i was filming the how to make your shoes into skates video i was gonna put this whole like interview part in it but then it was like really long so i decided to just split it up so yeah in this part me and Susie talk about like the actual prize and what we did on my dock skates and i'm really sorry that the audio is really crappy they had like music in the background at the shop so i try to like put that down and put the voices up so it's kind of sign Ugh. so it kind of sounds kind of weird but i'm sorry i film everything on my iphone i really need to get a microphone but that's in the future. So yeah, enjoy this part two and find out how much my docs cost. Here with Susie, and she's the owner of Wicked Skatewear, <laughs> hell yeah, in Huntington Beach, because you guys have two locations, right? Yep, we're in downtown LA in Huntington Beach. We've been in business uh, for over 10 years. We started out uh, making roller derby uniforms, and then people needed skates and all the safety equipment too. We ended up selling that stuff also. And now we spend our days like this. <laughs> Turning shit like this. people's shoes and things into roller skates. A lot of people don't know that this is possible, but it is. And can you make any shoe into a skate? For the most part, on occasion we get some um, that uh, we don't have the technology or plate that'll fit on it. Like uh, stiletto heels, for instance. That's I was going to say, like heels, heels is probably not. We can mount them, like, if you just want to wear them for a photograph with wheels on them, it. but, like, no not for high usage. performing. Yeah. yeah. It's a price for you to, to get your own. Well, the mounting fee is fixed. It's $75, and then from there, it just depends on the setup. So most people will bring us their shoes or boots, and then from there, we'll determine if we need to put a metal insole in. So if it's, like, a super soft sole, we need a little extra support in there. Um, these are 40 bucks, and then it's from there it depends on the plate you choose. So this is an aluminum Reactor Neo by Powerdyne, and it's $180 for this plate. Really popular one because it's strong because it's aluminum, and it's also very light. Um, if you want to add a slider or prime blocks or something to the bottom, those range about $70 to $90, depending on which one of those you pick. Um, and then all your components, so whatever kind of wheel and toe stops, toast, most toe stops are about 20 to 30 bucks, wheels 40 to 100, and then the bearings uh, start at 20 and go up to $300. Um, so most people kind of tell me what they're after and then we put pricing together and options for them based on what they're trying to accomplish. So it's very personal, it's like very whatever. Whatever kind of skating you want to do, um, they will let you know what kind of plate or what would be better for you. A lot of people want to know, do they have to get the, they can bring us any shoe or boot. Um, so like these crazy colored ones, these were custom made. Um, it has to be a new shoe. Oh, it's recommended to get a new shoe because um, we need the sole to be intact. Yes. Custom ones made by the manufacturer of the shoes can be drop shipped directly to our Huntington warehouse for mounting. Some people buy them, ship them to their house, then drive them down here and we just send them direct to us. Yeah. And you would have to come and pick them up, right? Mm -hmm. Or we can ship them out. Because we have customers all over the country that we do these setups for. Like, some people are lucky to be local and yeah. they can come check it out <laughs> here. Uh, but a lot of people, you know, are in a little town where there's no local skate shop. And if there is a local skate shop, they don't do these kind of mountings. So yeah. they're forced to go look elsewhere. But let's just talk about what we did to mine. All right, so I just got these custom made today, and these are vegan, actually. They're vegan Doc Martens, and we got a red pro plate. Yeah, you got the fanciest power dime plate. The fancy stuff it right here. It is anodized blue and hollowed out to make it as light as possible, and it's incredibly strong. It's very reactive. There's an adjustable pivot on the trucks, which is like a really fancy kind of bell and whistle option there. Mm -hmm. 
um, and you put roll-line toe stops. Kat, you want to weigh in on how fancy roll-line toe stops are? They're Italian. <laughs> Tell them about their rubber farm. They're Italian. Um, they have their own rubber trees, like, on their, like, factory grounds where they grow their own rubber. And they mine it from their own trees to make their own toe stops. And it's the best toe stop you can get. Independent. When you stop, stop. You get toe stops because toe stops can save your life if you're Definitely. out of control or going down a hill and you need to stop right away. So invest. Mm -hmm. And these will last a lot, uh, pretty long time too. Yeah, and the plates should long. last a long time too, right? These plates should last you for like life. I mean, they don't oh, warranty geez. them for life or anything. They only warranty them for about a year unless um, there's a defect and they'll take care of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is a rad plate. I would hang on to it forever and ever. The boots, you know, will get beat up and maybe not last you forever. Obviously, your wheels and your toe stops are consumable. I don't you're going to wear down yeah. over time, but yeah, not these plates. Okay, let's say if my boot gets, like, super messed up, can I just bring in another shoe and use the same plates? Mm -hmm. Totally. We can switch it to a different setup. A lot of people do that. They upgrade their boot periodically as they wear them out or down or the leather gets all stretched out and they don't fit like they used to. Or what about, like, um... If I get one for like a kid, customer, and then you know, like kids are always growing their shoe grows out, you can still use the same place, right? like, For the most part, there is, um, you can only use it for so long because uh, eventually the plate will be too short for the shoe. Yeah. But usually you can capture about two to two and a half sizes on the same plate as the two kids growing. Sizes. That's good. For my brother, some van skates, and he doesn't want them anymore because they, they don't fit him, so, but they did tell me to like. Just change the plate or change the shoe, use the same plate, and it'll last you another year. So, yep, sometimes we'll go a little big on the plate on mm -hmm. the initial mounting when we know it's a kid that's still growing. Oh, so yeah, they yeah, can yeah, utilize them later. Yeah. And that's all shop knowledge, <laughs> <laughs> the real tea. Cat, how much did I spend on these? These plates are $2.99. So you got a three hundred dollar plate, a uh, thirty five dollar toe stop, the Italian with seven <laughs> <laughs> Italian toe stop, Italian <laughs> <laughs> import fees, uh, <laughs> and the mounting was seventy five. And I, I already had these wheels. I just brought them in, and then the boot itself was like one twenty. So they're my baby. They're my children. I will never let go. And I've been skating already for like two-ish years, and I have very beginner skates, so I'm excited for these, for that quality. <laughs> what skate are you in right now? Um, the Impala is the Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a huge upgrade. And before that, I had the, the Moxie ones, the Ivy Jungle ones, the so like very first version that has like the uh, bolt-on sort of stuff. Uh -huh. Yep, yeah. They're like really messed up now, yeah. And like, I broke the truck on it, and I still wear them, but... Oh, and then like, the toe stuff would always fall off, the one on the oh, left. Yeah. It was stripped. It, it, yeah, it was like, hella stripped, and I could never put it on. It was dangerous skating at the skate park, so I was like, guys, 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 hold up, hold up, I gotta put on my toe stuff, I gotta put on my toe stuff, like, <laughs> super annoying. But these have the, um, what is it, like, the adjustable? So these like won't fall off. Yes. Uh, what is the difference in that? You have the, the Allen. Yeah. The Allen locking toe stop. Yeah. Is what we have on these ones. So they stay in place so much better. You have a lot more leverage to tighten them down. Um, yeah. You, your toe stops will not be falling out anymore. Yeah. It feels part. good to like trust your skate to stop because with the other ones I was always so sketchy like I could never trust it but yeah going upgrading. um with from these to the stuff you've been on it's going to be so much more reactive when you go to move or stride or jump or something your mm -hmm. plate's going to come with you it's not going to flex you're not going to have wasted energy and like the wobbly little plate oh, setup okay. that's currently on them um it, you're going to be so much more efficient of a skater in these guys so Better get better. You better be a bomb ass skater in these. Oh, Watch me do backflips soon. <laughs>
right. Yeah, I don't know if the backflips are relative to the equipment <laughs> we're on. No, it depends on the skater slash athlete. You know what? I was in gymnastics and right when we were gonna learn how to do a backflip, my parents like took me out because like, we had a move and then I never learned how to do a backflip. So yeah. thanks mom and dad. Could have been doing this on skates right now. <laughs> Dude, most, right. Like most parents, they would probably hate that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, this was a great experience. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My homegirl, the Scorpio. <laughs> the Scorpio made this possible, guys. We're not all bad. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, look here. Yeah. <laughs> Trap you with their stinger. <laughs> Sleepover shit. <laughs> the Virgo's <laughs> like, what? What's going on, you guys? I just let her like be She's like, are you talking shit? I want in. Alright, do then. Okay, ready? Okay. Right, did it. Cut. Okay. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more roller skate shenanigans. And again, I apologize for the crappy audio. If you have any more questions, just let me know down below. Thanks. Bye.